Welcome to This Week in Colorado Soccer. Eric Poloni alongside head coach Danny Sanchez for the season finale of Twix. It's a bittersweet day, coach. The Buffs finished the season 15-6-1, second place in the Pac-12, and of course made it to the second round of the NCAA tournament where they took on number three in the country, South Carolina. Not the result you wanted, but talk a little bit about the match. Well, I, I thought we played well for the most part. Um, you look at South Carolina with one loss in the season, a top three RPI all season. Now they advance to the quarterfinals. Um, we'll show host this weekend against North Carolina, a chance to go to the final four. So we knew it would be a challenge. Um, you know, I thought the first half we kind of hung in there and, and had some good moments, got to halftime, um, had one really good chance in the second half. Emily Bruder had a really good chance. Her keeper made a nice save. Um, unfortunate to get the, the penalty with uh, about 14 minutes to go. Felt after that we put some pressure on, just not enough. Um, I mean, the penalty was their only shot on goal in the second half, so I thought we played better in the second half. But at the end of the day, not enough on the road against a tough team. But um, hold our heads high. We, we battled and uh, gave ourselves a chance. And, of course, after the game, you had also talked about our seniors, the six seniors that will be departing us, and you had mentioned that, that for the rest of their lives, if they ever need anything, give you a call. And it was a, it was a very nice moment, even though you know, there was the letdown of, of losing the match. Uh, it really is a family and an extended family now for the rest of their lives, but talk a little bit about our seniors. I, I think you have to put things in perspective, and, and when I get through after tough matches like this, I look at it this way. This was their last opportunity, and they laid it all on the line. We had a great season. They led us to this point. You know, I look at my, myself and the staff, and they were, we have an opportunity to get back here and maybe advance further, but for those players, it's important for them to understand that it's not just about this game. It's about the journey, as they say, to get to this point, and I could be more proud of this group of seniors. And like I said at the press conference, you know, um, these are people, these are young ladies I really respect. I know they're all going to be successful. And if there's any way that myself or staff or the University of Colorado can help them going forward, we're all on board. And of course, only one team is going to end their season once you make the NCAA tournament with a win. So it was still a very successful season, and I believe Andy Stan of the Week uh, talking about the 15 wins. Hey there, Twix fans. Andy coming to you live from Fargo, North Dakota with this week's Stat of the Week. Our final Stat of the Week is CU won 15 games this season. That ties the school record set back in 2003 and then tied again in 2004. Thanks again for joining us all season long right here on the number one soccer show in the state of Colorado. When you look at the 20 regular season games to accomplish what we did was fantastic. And once you got, the, got things kind of rolling and you started winning games and you had the momentum, you still, six of your last seven matches were against top 25 opponents. That was impressive. Yeah, no, it was, it was a tough, we knew we'd have a tough stretch, well, it's a tough stretch throughout the whole way, but uh, you know, I think that was the question mark for us, for the people on the outside looking in. I thought we answered the call there with a nice tournament win, competing at a high level against the number one seed, but really taking care of business in the Pac-12, uh, finishing uh, tied for second in the, in the toughest conference in the, in the league. So we're going to take some solace in all that, and, and there are really some good things to build off going forward. Well, Coach, we've been social all season, yes, as you know. Uh, Taylor Korniak is uh, up for the Hero College Sports Newcomer of the Year. So uh, currently, Taylor is in first. So if we can all help out and vote the link, you'll see it there on the screen. Get out there and vote for Taylor Korniak. She had a great season, 11 goals for the Buffs as a freshman. For sure. She was, she was obviously fantastic. Um, you're not the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year, first in all conference without having a great season. Um, but I'm really proud of her, but the whole team. And Coach, one of my favorite segments Top 10 goals of the year. Let's yes. take a look and uh, see what we've got. Well, obviously this was a, a tough match on the road for us against Mizzou, but Sarah Kinsler was an absolute cracker um, to, to equalize that game. This next goal was just class from Taylor against Drexel, slotting at far post, great composure. Uh, an impressive goal, really got us going back on the winning streak. Sports Center, ESPN Sports Center, number one. And number for two. a reason, number two, a number one in our hearts. Uh, Evans to Korniak on the flip chuck. Um, and a great goal against White. And number seven. Number seven, but maybe the key to our season. Opening match at Washington State, 89th minute, Taylor, Sarah to Taylor, game winner. Uh, great start to Pac-12 play, especially on the road against a very good team. Number six. Number six, well, what can you say? Velasco, great strike from Taylor, game winner against Arizona State on the road in tough conditions. Number five. Number five, Sarah with another blast against Oregon State. Um, set us off on a 3-0 win, but a great finish. And number four? Number four, 
maybe the classiest finish ball, Stephanie Zuniga, and what composure from Danica to put that in some Huskies. I'm protesting, I don't know how that was not number one. Number three. Well, this was pretty good too. Two seconds ago in the second overtime, Zuniga to Korniak to win it against Cal on the road. And number two. Well, this was also a nice one. Emily Bruder, the game winner against UCLA. Um, a huge match for us and a great finish by Emily. And then number one. Danica Evans, senior day. The goal was a great finish, but I think it's number one, Eric, I'm gonna go with because of this. Number one celebration. Yes, yeah, number sure one celebration on season, for sure. But. And we had a, a great many. So great, uh, 10 great moments for the Buffs this season. Yeah. And it was a, a great season to, for, to be sure, and we'll have the uh, awards. Maybe we should have a Twix Goal of the Year award that we can hand out at the banquet in January. But then we already told everyone what it was. Well, yeah, but then you just get the award for everybody knows. On January 21st, Eric, you're invited to the uh, I am invited. Banquet, that is wonderful. That information out. It has been an honor and a privilege to be around this team and get the access that we get for this show all season. So thank you very much. And coach. Let me let me say one thing. It was Mr. Poloni's birthday yesterday. So we were all in, in Twitter and Facebook land. We want to uh, wish him a happy birthday. He's not as old as he looks. We will leave the age to guessing. Um, but we want to thank Eric for everything that he's done for this year on the show, taking the time to do it. It's been a, it's been a fantastic season. You can sm submit your age guesses on the Facebook <laughs> there, and uh, we'll see who comes closest and maybe send them a, a prize too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Coach, thanks uh, for all the access all season. It's been a great year for the Buffs, and uh, of course, uh, a great season. And we'll have the awards banquet coming up in January, and everybody will get one last opportunity to celebrate this season. So we'll get the the highlight videos and everything out to our loyal fans. So everyone out there in Facebook land, and then of course, those of you who join us every week on Twix, thank you very much for a great season, and we'll see you next year.